right, you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in with this meal prep. I got this stir fried vegetable blend. I got this from Costco. And you're also going to need some chicken breast. And this I also got from Costco as well. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back at your house. And I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake now. You keep missing out for sure. So now I'm going to go ahead and wash my chicken breast and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I rinse it really good. Now after I washed it and tried to rinse as much as water out of it, I'm going to go ahead and pat it down with some napkins just to remove the excess water that it has. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and cut these chicken breasts into little um, bite sides and I'm also going to go ahead and remove any extra fat that it has on here. It doesn't really have much but we, I'm just trying to remove as much as I can and whatever it has. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut up the rest of the chicken breast into little bite size so I can get a little piece of chicken in every bite. So this is the fun part. We're going to go ahead and start seasoning it. This is the Dash brand in salt free and this is just the table blend. And this is the same brand Dash salt free and garlic herbs. And I will also be using this sea salt fine crystals. Now this is the exciting part because you can add whatever seasonings you want. At least for me I like to make sure I use nothing but the um, salt free seasonings. And in case you're wondering, why, what's the whole point of adding the salt-free seasonings if I'm going to add salt anyways? Um, I have more control of how much salt I put in here. And other seasonings already come with salt. And say if you are using two or three different kind of seasonings, those that are not salt-free, those already have salt. And on top of that, if you add salt yourself... That's just adding up the sodium and you don't want that. So you're going to get all that extra flavor from the salt-free seasoning. And then you have the control of how much salt you put in here. And that is what is the good thing about using the salt-free seasonings. Um, there's a lot of other ways you can flavor this. You can also dice up some garlic or smash up some garlic and you can dice up some onions there's just a lot of ways that you can season your meat remember eating healthy doesn't really have to be boring all right so for some healthy fats i'm going to be using this um, coconut oil and it is unrefined if you decide to use coconut oil make sure you get the unrefined coconut oil the cold press now i'm going to go ahead and put some on that pan and let me tell you this coconut oil also gives it that extra flavor it tastes really delicious now i'm going to go ahead and throw in my frozen vegetables and the reason i am using frozen vegetables is because it lasts more i do prefer to have fresh vegetables and from time to time i do use fresh vegetables but to have this uh, mini variety of vegetables um it's a lot and it can also go bad quick and I 
do not like to waste food. So therefore, that's why I got the bag of vegetables. It's still good. You know, you're still getting your your healthy, you know, vitamins from your veggies. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to be adding this Bragg's liquid um, aminos soy sauce. Now, let me tell you, you don't want to skip out on this. I really recommend it. This gives it that extra flavor. This tastes really, really good with vegetables. And this just makes it taste and even better. I honestly, I highly, highly recommend you don't skip out on this. Forget to check out the description box I will leave a link to where I purchased these sauteed our veggies in we're gonna go ahead and add some some more coconut oil this is once again like I've mentioned earlier this is a healthy fat so this is good you can also throw in some diced garlic in here like I say you can add anything you want into your meats to season it to give it that extra flavor and oh my god you guys just the aroma the smell of the meat of the chicken with the veggies that I've already been cooked in there. It just smells so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little mix. So I can kind of just get all that chicken breast. Some of that seasoning flavor. So now I'm going to go ahead and start serving the white rice onto this section of my meal prep tray. Now, um, I did show you guys how I cook my white rice because I'm pretty sure we all do the same. It's just one cup of rice and two cups of water. chicken breast now just be careful you don't want to overcook it because chicken breast can be um, very dry um, especially if you overcook it you would just take out all the juice out of it so just try to make sure you don't dry out the chicken this is one of the reasons why my husband doesn't really like chicken breast I mean he likes breast I mean you know what I mean <laughs> yeah but um, yeah let's just leave it at that <laughs> take some sesame seed and just I'm gonna use that to top off the vegetables with it you know just to make it look pretty make it look a little bit more pleasant so yeah um that's just that's just by choice you don't have to but I just chose to because I had it on hand So it 
it's already dinner time for me so I went ahead and I made me a plate and this is how it looks once it's all together of course on the meal prep tray it's not going to look like this you're just going to kind of just toss your veggies that are on the side and just throw it on top of the rice and the chicken but the flavor the taste is still going to be there all right to top it off i like to use the ground fresh chili paste or i like to use the sriracha hot chili sauce it just depends what you guys like or it also depends what you guys have on hand Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.